What's the hardest language to learn? Well, this question is a bit loaded because it completely depends on what your native language is. Let's say you speak Cantonese. If you're trying to learn Mandarin, that's going to be really easy because they're pretty similar. But if you're an English speaker trying to learn Mandarin, that's going to be pretty hard because these languages are very different. So we really have to figure out what the most different language from English is to determine what the hardest language to learn is. There are lots of different languages all over the world, but how do we find out which one is the most different from English? To do this, we need to establish what makes English English. What are some fundamentals that we can compare so we can find the language that is the opposite of English? So, to start, English has three main qualities that we'll be evaluating in this video. It's a Proto-Indo-European language. It is SVO, Subject, Verb, Object, Sentence Structure. And finally, it's isolating, kind of. To find which language is the most different from English, we'll be looking at what language has the most different characteristic from these or the opposite. There's two different ways to structure your language. There's isolating on one side, and there's polysynthetic on the other side. An isolating language is going to isolate each word into its own specific meaning. Every word is one block with no endings, no anything. You just add another word to specify. A polysynthetic language, on the other hand, is going to have a few words, but each of those words does a lot of work communicating what the sentence is about. So they're going to have lots of endings, lots of prefixes, packing everything into a small little space. So on the isolating side, all the way over you got Vietnamese. And then you got Mandarin. And there's also Hawaiian thrown in the mix there. All the way on the polysynthetic side, we got Ket, which I've talked about in another video. Link is up in the description if you want to watch that. Arabic is kind of over there, and so is Latin. Slightly closer to the middle, but a little bit further on to the isolating side, is English, then French, then Spanish. But let's come back to that subject, verb, object sentence structure that is special about English. Let's look at other languages all over the world, their sentence structure. So, we got a language like Latin. Again, ket, at S-O-V. Then we got S-V-O. That's... English, that's pretty normal to us. VSO, you got Hawaiian. The farther we go down, the rarer it is. So you're going to see less and less and less languages with these sentence structures. We go further down, we got Yucatec, spoken on the Yucatan Peninsula. Further down, we have OVS, which is incredibly rare. One of them is Iwu. Going on to OSV, this is even rarer than OVS with just around 0.3% of all languages in the world having it. One of these languages is Tobati. So to analyze what language is the most different, we're gonna find English's position on this chart, and we're gonna go and find the language that is the farthest possible away from it, which is all the way in the bottom right corner. This is a language in South America that actually is pretty successful. It has 420,000 speakers, native speakers, and it doesn't seem to be dying. This language is called YU. This language is OVS, but sometimes it can be VSO, both of which are going to be completely bonkers to an English speaker's mind. This language is all the way over in polysynthetic territory. Here's a few examples of multiple infinitives of one word. In English, we just add a bunch of new words to change the meaning. In this language, you just change something about the pre-existing word to change the meaning. This language also has the opposite word order as us, with O-V-S, whereas we have S-V-O. Here's an example that really shows how they flip the word order from what we would have. Ashisu nutuma petut tu alihuna kalu. Breaking it down, it starts with father, by, Peter, and then the, creole. We start the sentence with Creole, and they end the sentence with Creole. It's so completely different. It would almost be better to have never learned English to learn this language. This language is the furthest you can possibly get from English, and is probably the hardest language you can learn as an English speaker. With its crazy sentence order, crazy word structure, this language is the most different language from English possible. 